The transformation bug is the gift that keeps on giving. As if it wasn't powerful enough already, you can now make abilities last indefinitely using this bug. One of my viewers, Thomas, made a comment saying that he managed to make the Super Maelstrom ability permanent by linking a Wizard Lord Phoenix to it and then using the Wizard Lord Phoenix ability and then the ability of the linked tower. I decided to try it out myself, and it worked. Naturally, I wanted to see if this worked for the other time-based abilities, and it did, but I didn't get it to work for all of them, so let's go through them one by one. The Super Maelstrom, as mentioned, worked, and so did the Mad. I was so happy that this one worked, given how strong it is. And then the Grand Sabo worked as well, causing every Moab to spawn with less HP forever. Permacharge did not work, and neither did the Alchemist nor the Homeland Defense, but the Glue Storm did. The actual glue is invisible, but you can see that the tower is throwing around its tentacles or whatever, and the dart is doing plus 2 damage. The Mortar worked pretty well. As you can see here, it can almost permastall around 200 ZOMG. Sadly, the Plasma Monkey Fan Club did not work. I was really hoping to be able to link a Wizard to a Super Monkey Fan Club, and then a Plasma Monkey Fan Club, and then lastly to an S Mail to create a masterpiece of infinite super fast Plasma Maelstroms. But sadly, that did not work. Before I decided to call it a day though, I thought, should I test this on non time based abilities? Surely there's no way that would work, right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dude, am I recording with voice? Dude, I'm recording with audio. I didn't know how I, I didn't know I was recording commentary. That's awesome. You got my reaction. <laughs> I didn't think this would work. Okay, so this just got interesting again. Time to test every non-time based ability. The ace kind of works. If you refresh the ability, it will drop the bomb again, but it won't do it by itself. And also, it will be invisible, but you can tell that it is happening from the pop count and the Moab getting stunned. The beast handler I couldn't test, as this tower would cause me to crash every time I tried this bug, since I need to upgrade the base tower that is linked to it. The boat also kind of worked, but just like the ace, you need to refresh the ability, and doing this will turn the pirate lord into a navarch at home. The bomb shooter, the druid, the ng, and the farm all did not work. The ice worked sort of like the ace, whereas if you refresh it, it does the ability again. The elite defender's passive ability, giving it 4x attack speed for a short period of time if a balloon leaks, did not work either, and neither did the spike factory. The anti balloons ability worked if you refresh the ability, but again, not automatically. And lastly, we have the submarine. The first strike ability did work, and it worked automatically. Here it will send out a first strike ability for 10k damage each every 2 seconds. So what about paragons and heroes? Well, none of the paragons worked sadly, but I am glad to report that the heroes did, and I got some funny results. <laughs> oh my god dude, what is this? This is so cursed. For Oban you could do it with both abilities. The Wall of Trees gets placed down super fast and makes a crazy sound like the game is about to break. The Brambles also gets placed down pretty fast for some really high damage. Adora, Ben, Brickell, Churchill, Sai, and Soda did not work, but most other heroes did. Starting with Striker Jones, he can now shoot his stunning missile all the time to permastall any Moabs, and Quincy can make it rain arrows forever. If you use his other ability at the same time, the arrow rain will become even more deadly and have a 100% uptime. Pat Fusty worked, but you need to refresh the ability, and if you do, he can do a lot of damage, squeezing all the mobs in range to mush if you smash the button fast enough. Gwen can use her Firestorm ability constantly and automatically set every balloon on the screen on fire, but once again it is invisible so you can't see the fire but you can see her perform the same animation as she would when triggering the ability normally. Etienne I couldn't test, as this would crash my game every time. And lastly, we have Isili. This bug caused her Hex ability to not only be working at a 100% uptime, but also caused multiple ones to spawn. Here she is taking on infinite round 200 bads on her own. Some pretty crazy stuff. New cool things are being found all the time using this new transformation bug, and I'm currently spending about 18 hours a day finding new bugs and grinding out videos on every bit of the transformation bug, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun, and I will see you in the next one.